Making my way downtown. Oh, oh my Lord, Jesus, I must have took a nap. I gotta get down to Vegas. They're opening a casino named after me. What year is it? It's 1946, right, guys? Oh, you having a good yo, time? Huh? Yo, you having yo. a good time? Hey, hey, I told him Frosted Flakes is better than Corn Flakes. It's so hilarious. Come here, come here. Not gonna disrespect Corn Flakes on my watch. Not on my watch, pal. Hmm? What makes Frosted Flakes so much better, huh? A little frosted. Diabetes, huh? Is that what you're into, huh? Cornflakes keep it simple. No frills. No frills goodness every morning. Hmm? Take it from me. Cornelius Kellogg. Take it from me. Hmm? Cornflakes is the best around. Hmm? I'll chase you down all night, Dorian. Dorian, you shouldn't even be eating cereal anyway. You should be eating dog food. Alpo. That's what you into. What the hell you know about cereal? Great. Oh, have a dash reason even close. But come here. Come here, Dorian. I'm sick of it. Sick of the fun games, sick of the disrespect. Never had a bowl of cereal day in your life. Ain't no dog on the cereal box. I've never seen a dog on a cereal box. Let's talk about that. How many cereals you represent? Hmm? I've been representing cornflakes as long as you've been alive. Sick of it. So let's start giving. Man, give me these damn glasses, man. Mm -hmm. Let me see how you see the world. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? Damn. You ain't got no 2020 vision. You got 915, man. You, you late for work. Oh, y'all got snacks? Mm. Mm. I can actually see my snacks. I'm like this young man right over here. He blind as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I knocked that nugget loose again. Don't you be walking up and through here without checking in with that pigeon coop. You hear me? Hmm? Hey, fellas. What's going on, man? Oh, this is pretty nice. Hey, well, I guess it's not too nice since you got me in here looking for mice. <laughs> oh, the streets is real. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I think I, wait, don't need, don't need to show me where he is. I can already smell him. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? And, oh, yeah, he's in here. He is in here. Hey, Khaki Carbo Shorts, do me a favor and shut that door. Yeah, shut that door so y'all don't see me do my thing. Oh, dear, what's up now, Jerry? But fortunately, this ain't no Tom and Jerry cartoon, and my name ain't Tom. It's Carillas. And he really, really over here, the jig is up, man. The jig is up, Jerry. This cat knew the assignment. Oh, man. Before I was living on the streets, I was a straight A student. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all be good, man. Praise God, man. Where am I? Oh, oh, hi. It's the mailman. I hate the mailman. He's standing in my dog food bowl with his packages and his parcels. I got some for him. Oh, how long are you going to be going? I'm scared. Oh, it's the mailman. Hey, who you, who you pointing at? Who you accusing here? Huh? Don't point your finger at me. Don't point your finger at me, man. Skip me, Pat, man. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces passing on homebound. Diddly 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 If I could fall into the sky, do you think time would pass me by? Cause you know I walk a thousand miles. Walking as an American, waving at people that's not really there behind the camera has a salute. Going up the steps like an American, because we climb higher every single year, every single day. That's what we do as Americans. We climb higher, you know, oh, skip that skip. Little, little. playing it off, fix the suit jacket like an American, and then wave that nobody's really out there, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what we do. We play it off as Americans. Who agrees the goddamn steps? I say, I say, skip that diddly dee. Show your dog a treat, then act like you ate it. Oh, I got a treat. Oh, man, you know I love the treats. The treats love me. Let's get it, shall we? Hey, wait, wait, hold on a second, man. Hey, hey, I know you just ain't eat my dog biscuit. I know you just didn't sit up here in my face with your face in close proximity to my face and eat that dog biscuit in my face. It's a dog biscuit, Xavier. It's a dog on the box, bro. I know you just ain't said, you know what? <laughs> and they grabbed him and held him. Ooh, I'm telling, Rudy. You ain't skipped it. Oh, damn, my ankles, Rudy. Ah, uh, skip that diddly dee. All right, I want to try this with Knox, all right? Oh, man, let's try it. Oh. What are we doing, man? Oh, oh. you my dog. You know I got... Oh, my bad. My, my equilibrium oh. is off. I ain't got to... Oh, wait. I feel like I was fast enough that time. Oh. I feel like, you know... All right, you be going. Oh. oh, I see what it is. See, you 
You playing around with your little friends on that little camera portal piece you got going in. Oh. This is fun and games, D.L. No. Paul my ass. <laughs> I'm going to Paul your ass. And look, look, look. Hey, Bert. Hi. I got a couple questions for you. Hey, let me ask you something real quick. Hey, man, what the hell are you doing? We don't eat the chickens. Go sit your hungry ass down. Hey, I just had a question about cornflakes is all. Trina, when we get to this dog park, it's this black lab, man. I've been smelling her butt for months. And when I tell you, poof, oh, you just going to mm, taste like purse straps and knockoff. Anyway, Katrina, you wrong for boom. You gonna double up on the disrespect? No apologies. I need a new one. Don't be hugging me. Well, how about that? It be your own people. Katrina having the time of her life after she done slapped me across the face twice with that cheap ass purse. They smile in your face all the time. They wanna take you, please. Don't trust people that hug y'all. I get the meow mix way. Y'all heard that? Who the, hey, grab the, they got the pops going, putting the haberdasheries and hemoglobin. Y'all don't hear that? Who, grab the, get the, <laughs> do something. You do something. Square up. up. You didn't do nothing. Neither did you. Boss, Boss move. Ooh, say something. You say something. Shut, Shut your, your ass, ass up. up. I'm right here. Well, I've been here. Well, pull up, up then. then. I'll sock you out. Well, then bust a square sock up. Pull up, sock up. Whatever y'all want to do, we can get it cracking. We can get it flapping. What y'all want to do? Look at who you came to see. Come see me. I don't care if y'all come one at a time, single file, in a group. Come see me. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Dietrich? You got something to get off your chest, Dietrich? Schedule an appointment, bro. I understand all that, Greg. I understand all that. But I'm just saying I should be getting a bigger percentage of the profits in Toys R Us, man. You keep pulling up in a different vehicle. Now you got this little lavish motorcycle or whatever. So I'm going to take it for a ride until I get my proper cut, man. I'm taking it for a spin, man. How about that, man? I want my percentages at Toys R Us. I'm out of here, baby. Toys R Us and worth a damn. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Toys R Us and worth a damn. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Toys R Us and worth a damn. Toys are us, toys are us, toys are us, and with a damn, toys are us. I told my dog last night I'm not walking in today, and he just took it, you understand? <laughs> What's going on in here? I took what? Y'all having a good time? Look at this door up off me. You can take me for that walk. I told you to stay out my stash of carrots, Rabbit. Get off me, man. I needed those carrots to refuel. Man, you refuel on your own carrots, man. That's why you're getting the sock out right now. Man, I was getting chased by bald eagles all day, man. Let me get in on them carrots, Harold. Man, get in on these fists, man. Stay out my carrots. Get, oh. get off me, Brisbane, man. man. Just, oh, oh, wow, wow. Calm, calm down, down, bro. Calm down, man. Look, you don't know what it's like, man. I lost my whole family to some rat trap. That's what you're wrong. I do know what it's like, bro. I lost my baby cousin to a rat trap. D comes. It hurts, bro. No, it hurts, bro. But you got to pull yourself together. This cat is watching us, bro. Come on, man. Go home and cool off. Please, bro. All right, man. All right. Please, cool off. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What you think I am? Why you putting these caps on me? You better be putting these caps on yourself. Dang, Monroe, man. Why she putting these caps on you? I don't even know, Chris. But I tell you what, when that camera go off, I'm slapping all these caps loose. Get off me, man. Get off oh, me, yeah, man. You're you ain't right right me, man. 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 you just gonna ride me in front of my old friends, huh? Human crotch off my back, ho. I got the dress you slide, girl, to make your toenails curl. I'm on that dress you slide. Give me just a little. I'm on that dress you slide, girl, to make your booty jiggle. I got the dress you and slacks to make you relax. I got the dress you boots, girl, to shake you to your roots.
You see the hard bottoms I got on, girl. The dress shoes and the slacks. The hard bottom and the brown interior, exterior. You see what it is, girl. Let me pay your bills. I got the dress shoes slide to give you all the feels. I'm on that dress shoes slide, girl. Let me rock your world. We got the dress shoes slide. Skibbity pat, 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 skibbity, oh, pat, pat, hey, don't you ever walk across my bricks, oh, get the hell on, pat, 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 get your old ass out, boy, I done told you, skit, skit, skibbity pat, ha, ha, yes, it is, pat, pat, ho, and only then can you maximize your algorithm, oh, Mr. Kitten Grove. Mr. Kitten Grove. Yeah. wrong night, eh, and the documents were in place, Buford, Buford, you listening, now, get this, that's when the subcommittee had to reallocate the funds and the Miss Cosgrove, Miss Cosgrove, wild night last night, huh, Miss Cosgrove? <laughs> Listen, try to stay with us for the class. This is money. You know, you don't want to waste your money. Speaking of money, the economic structure that was set up and put in place in the United States after the Industrial Revolution became a kind of, what's the word, uh, uh, Miss Cosgrove, Miss Cosgrove. Wow, wild nights. Man, did you go to sleep at all? As the peach went over her, yeah, oh, what a lovely bump that you, must have been for you, Miss Ryder. It was here. very satisfactory, oh, Ryder answered. Again, Will you huh? sing us a song about it, please? Reading out loud this but time, you really showing I'm off. I'm not going to sing the song, but I'll say the words. Reading out loud. Minding your own little business, doing huh, a little fun. story that you read. Fat. You know what I realized? You think you're better than me. Her tummy yeah, you, and you think you better than me out here it with your lavish reading skills and your little books. So she said, yeah, I your little books right flat. here, man. Let's forget your I books. Make I can read sleep too. As a cat. I'm from I from the school of hard books. To make myself thinner. Here, school of hard books. But along came the peach, or the beautiful you know, you, you peach, and you, made her you know what? You think you got that. it all figured out? Let me, that let me go. Very nice, let me get it. Now sing one about yeah, Uncle Sparker. I can it's smell the pain pompousness pain. because you and think you're better than me because you can read. I can read too. I read the dog food bags. He's actually sitting on the couch and he's not allowed to be. So I'm not sure what's going. I'm sick of Kanye. I was sick of him before he did all this mess. I don't care what he's dealing with. Okay. Shut your mouth. You go sit down somewhere. Mm -hmm. All them kids that look up to his ass. Get, hey, Kanye, go get help. Yo, let me tell you something right here, right now. At the end of the day, Tony Baker is just a black man that was once a black boy raised by black women and black female teachers and when a black woman of jennifer lewis's stature says shut your mouth and sit down somewhere i did it he she's not even talking to me she's talking to kanye west but when she said that i shut my mouth and i sat down somewhere i mean i shut up and sat down for a good hour and 20 minutes because jennifer lewis was not playing with us even though she was talking to kanye i felt it in my little black spirit this woman is not to be trifled with when she said it like that and she put some care on the end of it that's the beauty of it shut your fucking mouth and sit your ass down somewhere with some care on the end go get help baby oh magic Yo, Bryson, why they always out here staring at us? Oh, no, but today I ain't in the mood. Hey, yo, y'all want these fresh crabs? Hmm? You want the fresh crabs? Hmm. She done passed out, Chris. Was she dead, bro? Oh, no, Chris. Given my fear factor, her dropping dead makes total sense. She she was scared of the crab, but I don't smell no heartbeat, no breathing. I smell some hopes and dreams and memories, but they fading. She pooed it a little bit. Smell like she had grilled chicken and broccoli for dinner. Hey, yo, Chris, I'm gonna get the hell up out of here before the park rangers come, big boy. Hey, yo, Chris, you didn't see me today. You ain't seen me since Tuesday, as a matter of fact. Last time you saw me, I had on khaki pants, man. The details is important. So, okay, Cynthia, you know what I'm saying? Play that defense. You don't need no ankle support out here. Oh, I'm skid that diddly dee. The hell up off of me, man. Put me down, man. You gonna hold me hostage again, huh? That's what we do. Man, give me a fire here, bro. I'm sick of you. I'm trapped. 
You gonna hit that stupid high note, ain't you? Stupid high note, let me lean back for the brace. My ears are sensitive, man. I can actually see that river, though. Then we pick up hey, the fellas, package. what did oh, I miss? Man, what the hell is it? You in here with the fully realized cell tower? Yeah, man, if you're working for the cops, you gotta I make it more discreet. this guy, man. The worst police informant of all time. Man, now before I get into this video of these biscuits, I don't want to see y'all in the comments section talking about, but Tony, you're vegan. Man, shut up. I know what I am. Let me lust after these biscuits and hush. Damn. Now, man. These buttermilk swim biscuits right here, man. Look at how moist. Come on, dog. Oh, you, 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 you putting the jellies on there, dog. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me, man? Oh, we sifting, huh? We got the flour going. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? The bacon, the bacon powder. You know what I'm saying? The sugars. We sifting the whites is what we doing out here. Damn it. Big sift. All the sugar. Mm -hmm. All the whites. All right, now we mixing and sifting. Huh? Now we stirring and whisking. Oh, now this is the buttermilk. Right here, oh, and then you gotta stir that up, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bob Molly, you know what I'm talking about? You feel me? Stir it up, you know what I'm saying? Here's the butter, this is where the butter come in. You all oh, need to lay it up in there, and it's all lathered with the oh, you gotta lather the butter on there and spread it around with the brush, and then come on, dog. Then you cut it in squares like a Chicago pizza, man. Come on, dog, give us a chance, man. I would wash that oven the whole time till they was ready. Oh, look at them, they just really. Ready right here, golden brown with the dog, and then you then you brush up the butter on the top to rebutterize everything. You son of a bitch. Excuse me, what? I said you're a mangy dumb mutt. You know what? That's what I thought you said. I want you to stand there and keep that same energy while we address the level of disrespect you unleashed on me. Huh. Speaking of unleashed. Yeah, you think you running things, huh? Well, you better have your feet together running on me, girl. Yeah, girl, give me these leggings and hush. Yeah, uh-huh. They call me treadmill belt. I'll spank that ass. I prefer conversations with a ball in my so mouth. So you think you're better than me with your fancy talk ball? Oh, you absolutely right. I think I'm better than you with my fancy talk ball. Who else is giving hard-hitting interviews with a ball in their mouth? Huh? You're just yeah. hard to understand. Well, fine, then. Here. Is that what you wanted? Huh? Huh? Is that what you wanted, huh? Fellas, Brown, let's get out of here. Shut up. Let me get you back in the cabinet. Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. I ain't going back to the front. Oh, Mr. Jones, fellas, let's get the documents. Let's get the documents. Get the hell up out of here. Hey, fellas, y'all left me behind in this Ford or maze, man. Y'all some real pieces of work. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Hey, y'all recording? Slap the hell out of Crispin right now. I'm about to give him this fresh skibbity pap all up. Ooh, I'm gonna slap his whiskers off. I'm gonna slap him so hard. Catnip dust going. Oh, you watching me sleep for a Clancy? Hmm? You trying to give me that fresh nah, skibbity paps while I'm asleep? I was just. You always like, trying to slap me in my sleep, yeah. Clancy. Why don't you go find some What's business, up? man? Go smoke some catnip or something, man. Get your life together. You go know. look out the window and reflect, man. Go get a mouse or something, man. Do something with yourself besides slapping me in my sleep, bro. Clancy, I'm on to you, bro. I'm sick of it. Look at who you came to see. We the ghosts, you better. Bow when we step on your street. We the ghosts, you better. I'll see what it is out here. We out here shining and glistening on these mountain tops on the countryside. Oh, you got damn right. We the goat of the goats. Look at who you came to see. We the ghosts, you better. Listen, Katrina, hey, girl, don't play with me, man. Fill a bowl up, you know what I'm saying? Don't play with, hey, girl, don't play with me out here. Fill it. <laughs> okay. Third time's a charm, huh? Listen, Katrina, if I could come across this table, it's going to be complications and ramifications. You understand me? Hmm, okay. Appreciate these little snacks you provide. Nah, come on. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Get that out of here, man. I ain't with the beneficial nutrients out here. You got tricks up your sleeve? Mm. See, now we cooking with grease, man. You try to pull up with the... Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. I'm out with my girls. We doing it big, you know. Go back. <sighs> Girl, I don't know where I am. Okay, okay. How about we normalize? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. How about we normalize... 
letting couples do what works for them. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, can we normalize that, though? If they want to sleep in separate bedrooms, you got one upstairs, one in the living room. You know what I'm saying? One sleep in the bathroom, one in the den, and it works for them, and they happy, and they vibing. Let them. That's normal to me. If they want to live in separate houses for 20 years, like, like Cheryl Lee Ralph, let them. It's working. They happy, they vibing, they moving forward, they existing, they shining and glistening as a couple. Let them. You know how many couples out here on the normal tip sleeping in the same bed, but meanwhile, the relationship is a damn travesty. It don't, it don't matter. You sleeping in the same bed, that ain't going to save a relationship. Hating one another, booty to back in the bed. That ain't, sleeping in the same bed ain't, ain't a savior for the relationship. Let's normalize letting people do them. Oh, I didn't know it was your shoe. I didn't know it was a shoe you would actually I mean, wear. You, I thought it was a chew toy is all. I'm sorry. Oh, damn, man. These obstacles. All right, let me strategize. I'm going to come in and then dip past the seasoning salt and then work my way past the honey and then come in, and then the garlic salt and then I'm going to just avoid that glade. It's just... You over here overthinking it and strategizing, Cordell. You just got to feel it. It's instinctual. You got to come through with the utmost confidence, Cordell. Come on, Cordell. You got this. I'm rooted. I'm scared, man. I want the glade, the seasoning salt and the all oh, and the garlic. Hey, I did it, Rudy. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Look at Princess Diana showing these uptight British elite moms what time it is. She's going in for the win. She participated in this race at her son's school. She was like, man, forget all this royalty crap. I'm about to show y'all what time it is on the race tip. She's running barefoot in that dress just like Sue at the end of Crocodile Dundee. You can see the intensity in every step. She ain't doing this just for fun. Oh, these heifers think that because I'm royalty, I ain't got wheels out here? They put all the mothers on the spot on this race because look at the wardrobe. None of them are ready to be running like this. They got on sweaters and dresses and blouses. They didn't sign up for this race, but I'll tell you what, they didn't punk out when it was crunch time. They all running full steam ahead. Go, ladies. Get my way downtown, hopping fast. Baby, man, I ain't got food at this point. Oh, hell no, nah. somebody lied on the flight. Just get the hell out of here, Bambi. It's false advertising. Turn around every now and then. Why are you holding me up like this? This is my baby. I am? And ain't nobody finna touch me. I ain't no, I ain't no baby, all right? And people can touch me <laughs> if they want to. Yo, I can respect this. Italian man walked 450 kilometers to cool off after he had an argument with his wife. Ain't nothing wrong with this. If you are at the utmost pinnacle of pissed off, get your walk in. Just create that goddamn space and get your feet together with your thoughts. I'm not sure how long it takes to walk 270 some miles, but I hope he didn't lose his job in the process. And this is the type of angry man I am. If I'm pissed off at you, I need the space away from you before something is said that I'll regret or if I, if I break something in the house. Now, I've never put hands on a woman. But I've put hands on walls and countertops. And sometimes when you're in the heat of battle, you don't want to see that person. You don't want to smell them. You don't want to hear them breathe. You don't want nothing about them in your vicinity. And you might not want to have that awkward energy around you up in the house. That little quiet, awkward energy when y'all ain't feeling each other, but you still around each other in the house. Oh, God. Get your boy up out of here. I'm already biblical with my walks anyway. Just, 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 just let me walk away. People clown me for this, but I can text a full-fledged argument. I know some people love that face-to-face -face BS, but sometimes you'll say some things that you regret saying or something was said to you that you could never recover from, and that was in the heat of battle. You just had to talk. Let me walk off and hush. Let's get now. Let's get now. Let's get now. Let's get now. Look at who you can't see. Power step on the street. 
Okay. Look at who you can see. Bye when you step on the street. Now let's get it loud. Look at who you can see. Bye when I step on the street. Now let's get it loud. Look at who you can see. Bow when you step on your street. Now let's get it now. Look at who you can see. Bow when you step on your street. One more now. Look at who you can see. Bow when you step on your street. Now let's get it now. Look at who you can see. <laughs> you know, let me get my little workout in. Every goal has its start. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus, my whole mouth disintegrated. You know what? I don't need none of this. I got a man, two degrees, a six-figure salary. I don't need this. Mm, yep, let me get let me get my day started, man. Oh, let me double stress real quick. Oh, I'm going back to sleep. What the hell you talking about? Ooh, girl, come here. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah, girl, let me hold your girls in place real quick. Ooh, yeah, you're out here. <laughs> hey, you ladies have fun. Sacramento, come see me March 3rd and 4th. Only four shows. Pull up. Who? Huh? Who you in here making it last forever with? Another dog? Hmm? See, 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 see. Now, you got to get down there. You got to get that good water down in the underneath. You know what I'm saying? See, if you don't go to the underneath, you ain't got that good water. You drinking the water that's already on the top. You just getting that medium water. You got to get down there in the underneath for that good water. Before I ever put lip to water, I got to make sure it's that good underneath. And if you get water all over the floor, man, let the, let the water fall where it may. I ain't cleaning it up. Look, peeps, I don't know this man, but apparently his name is doing the most Montgomery the third. He in here giving it all up for the people. He walking up these steps with energy and vigor. Apparently he got a fan base watching him, cheering him on as he takes these imaginary steps to the top. I need this energy. Who was he, who was he giving, who was he pointing to in the, in the rafters? What the hell? Yeah, you think you can keep a black cat down by keeping your foot on his neck, huh? Flashing your little toes, your little fresh polish, huh? You know what I'm saying, man? Just sitting here being a good companion. Yeah, what's up with these snacks you got going, Playboy? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I mean, this is my favorite part of the show right here, where they come in and they just be standing there. Yeah, you got the whole assortment laid out, man. You got the little spread going, you know what I'm saying? Let me get it all turned away. Oh, you forgot to get biscuits. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you about to dip. Oh, you done dipped it in the sauce. See, when you dip it in the sauce, that's when you hit the real pay dirt of the snack experience. You know what I'm saying? Turn up. Every time. Now get the hell out of this. I ain't agree. Nobody needs snips, man. Go on, man. I don't, I don't like the snips, man. Get, the, get these snipsers about it. Just get the snipsers about here, man. What's up, punk? You think you're tough delivering your little packages? We'll deliver this, yeah. Sharp teeth on delivery. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Amazon Prime Postman? You want to deliver? <laughs> Wait, uh, mm -mm. all right. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just too cute, man. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Now, let me take a look at this little weak-ass list these ladies done crafted. Now, the Cheesecake Factory being number one is disrespect. We just talked about this, man. Cheesecake Factory has an encyclopedia menu. That means options for everybody. Cheesecake Factory is not a bad location for a first date. Now, Applebee's is a little too college -y, little too, you know, a little too mainstream. I get the Applebee's being here, you know what I'm saying? Chili's and Applebee's are the same restaurant. They're the same goddamn restaurant. I don't care what you say. They're interchangeable. Olive Garden, I get it. And they got, but they got, they got the breadsticks, girl. Come on, the breadsticks. We can break bread over the breadsticks. The movies I get because you can't really get to know somebody at the movies. Because if you talk to me during the movie, I'm like, man, shut your ass up. Shut your fine ass up. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Shh, shh. Get your hand off my leg. Now, your house, that's fair, man. There's safety issues involved. First date at the house. Now, mind you, I've had, I've had a couple first dates at the house. They were quite nice. They were quite nice. No smash, just good times, good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Comfort. 
trust. Any fast food chain, huh? So we can't go to Chick-fil-A and indulge in the nuggets and the waffle fries on, on, on the first day tip? Man, y'all being too tight, man. Come on, man. We just getting to know each other, man. It's got to be low key. Buffalo Wild Wings. I mean, the lemon pepper. We can't get in on that lemon pepper and getting to know you? Man, y'all tough out here, man. Red Lobster, though, the Cheddar Biscuits. The Cheddar Bay Biscuits to see if you can even make it to Bay status. What's wrong with Red Lobster for the first date? You know what I'm saying? Them biscuits alone. The biscuits alone. Come on, man. Now, the buffet, again, we have variety. You, you, got a, you got a wealth of options you can choose from, and everybody can find something they like at a buffet. Now, the quality of the food, that remains in question. I hop, I get it. That's where you go with the homies on the late night. Everybody's drunk and desperate. Or you go as a family during the day. I get it. Now, Denny's is just desperate meshes. Denny's is absolute desperate measures, man. You, you only go to Denny's when ain't nothing else open and you're desperate. Denny's, I get it 100%. Now, the gym is ridiculous. I didn't even know the gym was an option. I didn't know the gym was a, was a thing y'all was doing on the first day. That's, that's what y'all doing? Hey, let's link up at 24-hour uh, fitness. Now, Starbucks is always too busy, man. There's too many people going in and out of there, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and somebody, somebody going to see you. Somebody going to see you. They know you. You know what I'm saying? You might want to keep your date low key. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. But a coffee shop date is ideal for the first date, in my opinion. Low key, man. You ain't got the splurge on the first date. The ice cream date. What's wrong with the ice cream date? Ice cream is a good time, man. You can get some strawberry ice cream, some fresh vanilla. Just talking about your childhood, your hopes and your dreams. I feel like when you're eating ice cream, it brings out good energy in conversation. You start reminiscing about good things. You ain't, you don't see too many people talking negatively about something while they eating ice cream. You're usually reminiscing about the positives. There's something about ice cream and positivity and good reflection. I don't know. I could be tripping. Now, family function, I get that 100%, man. That's too much pressure. It's going to be all the people in your business, man, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your nephews, your siblings, your mom and your dad going to be all up in your business. Who is that man? Who is that man you brought over here, man? Way too much pressure. And then some family members ain't going to stop asking you about that one person you brought one time. This is like three years later. It's like, what happened to that boy you brought over here? We, I'm married now to somebody else. Why are you bringing him up? So I, I get that. I get it. Netflix and chill. We all know how that could turn out and what that could elude to. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere that requires a long drive. Okay. You might you might not be roadside compatible. You know what I'm saying? But you also get to know people when you're in the car with them for a long time. Especially if the conversation is flowing or not flowing. That's a good gauge of like, am I feeling this person? They kinda they kinda ask. Now, I get it. Although bowling is mad fun, it's hard to hear at the bowling alley. So I get the bowling alley being the first day. But bowling has to be in there somewhere early on because bowling is a good time. And plus, you get, you get a chance to check. You, you can check each other out when it's their turn to bowl. And then when they walk back and then when they walk up, that's when you get premium. Let me, let me see what she got going right here. That's the perfect... Body checkout at the bowling alley. Now, nightclubs, I get it. Trash. Hookah bar, trash. Bar for just drinks, trash. Now, hold on. Now, that Waffle House is a good time. The Waffle House is a good time. I get it. It's low budget. It's low rent. And, the, you know, the staff look like they just got out of prison. But let me tell you something. You can have great conversation at the Waffle House. It's not It's not that loud in there, You know, depending on when you go, though. Especially if you go after a club let out, there'd be some seedy characters in there. They'd be loud. There'd be a lot of different energies up in there that you might not want around when you're trying to get to know each other. Now, the sporting event, it's a lot going on at the sporting event. A lot of noise, a lot of activity, a lot going on. And then, fellas, you might find out, you know, you're taking a girl there on the first date, and she done dated some of the players. And then you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> and some dudes, they might feel a way about that. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? But... I don't know. So anyway, that's what I think of y'all lists. Y'all chime in. Oh, now, hold on a second. What y'all doing? Pepperidge Farm. Is this real? A lemon blueberry swirl? Oh, y'all ain't worth a damn. I'm intrigued by this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a fan of the raisin bread. You know that raisin bread with the swirl? You know what I'm talking about? The sun-made joint? I was always a fan of that. I know, I know, I know a lot of people don't rock with raisins. 
but I do. But this lemon blueberry combo you're talking about with the swirl, that's looking right. That's sounding right. Pepperidge Farm. And this whole time, I thought y'all was Petridge Farm. I never even looked at the words to see that it says Pepperidge. Either way, your name makes me drool. And this right here got Hey Big Head at 2 a.m. all over it right here. I won't end on it. Now, you know, the page I got this from said this is dropping this spring. I hope it's for real because I would like to see this in the springtime, especially since I'm a spring baby. Where is it?